So in the game, there are a couple of different paths that you can choose. First, you could do some career driving, which will take you through a whole bunch of different you know, stages and then also different roadmaps to be able to drive in. Or you can just do free driving, which will, you know, teleport you into the city. So let's jump into VR and start doing some free driving first before I show you the career driving mode. Docking sequence activated. All right, so now we're driving in the countryside, which is pretty cool. There we go. So when you bump up those textures, you'll definitely have a really cool experience here. But you really need to bump up the textures, otherwise they won't feel so real. And the great thing is that we have some kind of gimbal on the car because I'm not feeling, you know, the from all the rocks. But it's definitely, you know, it feels a little bit like we're on a boat. So if you're a little bit, you know, faint-hearted, then yeah, this little path is pretty tricky. But I have to say it's very beautiful. It really feels like I'm outside in the sun. Oh. Looks like we can't go any further here, can we? Ah, I can't stop the car! So we're going to change the map this time. We're going to look at the area section and we're going to choose a new city and then the business district because, you know, I haven't really tried this before. Activating light speed. So as you can tell, it is a different map. It looks very, very different. The buildings are quite different. And also the way that the actual city is built, built looks pretty different as well. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's just put our indicators on. I have to say that this game is so hard. It's very real. I mean, if I could actually get somehow, you know, a proper wheel and pedals to start doing this in VR, you know, this would be the closest that I personally would feel. You know, I'd be learning, learning how to drive. And I, I, I think the developers actually did a pretty, oh no, I'm going through a red light. Oh my God. Thank God there's no police. Oh man, that's pretty lucky. So, <laughs> as long as we keep everyone safe, that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's very realistic. I think the only downside of this game, honestly speaking for me, um, will have to be the sound of the engine. I, I really feel that the engine itself is, um, you know, just really, I don't like the engine sound. Oh, I didn't know how, I forgot how to downsize my, gears just now um, you can change you know left-handed and right-handed and all these kind of things I, I think as I mentioned the level of flexibility in this game are tremendous there's so many options in this thing um, the devs have done a great job in terms of really trying to provide people the ability to feel like you know you're learning how to drive in virtual reality it's just really mind-boggling all systems active so you can see the Christmas decorations as we chose we chose Christmas. I'm just going to drive a bit slower. See the Christmas decorations up there. And also there, the poster. The graphics are very, very nice, I have to admit. The gameplay is extremely smooth. It's running at a really cool... It really feels like it's 90 frames per second right now. It's just really brilliant, really fantastic. Look, isn't that an Audi in front? It really does look like an Audi, I have to admit. When you are stationary, as I mentioned before, you will notice that the graphics are a little bit more stuttery because the engine is basically rumbling. Just a couple of tips, by the way, that if you do hit the escape button, you have an on the fly option so you can change the seasons here. We're going to do some snow, so they'll look pretty cool. And then you, you can also change, you know, whether you want a lot of traffic, cars, and also pedestrians. Why not? You can also go and access all your settings here. By the way, sometimes you will hear your radio uh, and you're like, hey, how come I can hear some music? This is amazing. Is it coming from YouTube or something? No, it's coming from your radio. So if it does get annoying, you know, you can't switch it off. Well, there might be a key to switch it off, but anyway, you can also uh, mute the actual sound here on the fly and just click back then boom just click on continue and then you're back inside of your game so all good this is not a drill so as you can see we can change the weather and everything and the snow i mean this is this is a blizzard and the whoa almost hit the pole there 
The driving conditions are extremely different. They're much harder, I have to admit. And it feels much more stressful because there's so much going on. All these molecules, particles that are flying around with the snow. So for sure, it really provides a great level of, uh, of immersion. And you can see the texture is also on the car itself. Let me just uh, stop here very quickly. There we go. We're coming to a halt anyway. You can see the textures on the actual window. You know that it's all cold. All the marks of the ice there. We are in the same city, but as you can see, the characters inside of the world as well, the avatars that are walking around are wearing a different kind of attire. Definitely look more like a winter gear, for sure. All right, let's go through the red stop because we're Mavericks. There we go. Whoa! You can definitely feel that it's uh, much more slippery on the road when you're turning for sure. You really feel immersed. All the trees have snow on them as well. You have snow everywhere. You really feel some kind of, you know, cold sensation, especially if you have a, a fan running next to you, maybe, or you have the aircon, you know, if you have an air conditioner, maybe you could uh, turn it Oh, you could turn it to low and then you already feel much more immersed. No! Landing sequence initiated. All right, so now we're exactly in the same map. But as you can tell, it's no longer the winter. It's actually summertime and we're driving in the evening and now we have the actual rain. So again, it feels much more stressful because I can hear all the rain around me. I can see all these particles. You know, the game... The GPU is caching really well. I'm not having any issues whatsoever. Everything is rendering very fast. There's no, you know, stutter and anything like that. So that's pretty good. Um, you can see that the lights are more illuminated now. They have a bit of a glow. And also the people who are walking, unfortunately, they don't have an umbrella. That would have been a very nice touch for them to have an umbrella. But, you know, they're not wearing winter clothes anymore. So at least that's that. And no, it feels very immersive, very good. You can see all the reflections on the floor. If we just stop the car for a minute, you can see all the various reflections. And remember that the uh, graphics, we didn't set them to super high. We put them in around medium. So if we bump up those graphics, it'll be even more immersive. So really, really good. Really good stuff. Uh, really enjoying this. It really feels like I'm here, to be honest. And then also you can see the cars, they have their lights on. And as you, as the cars come more and more towards you, their lights glow, stop. So that is a very realistic touch. And of course we have the volumetric clouds as well. So if you just look at the lights from that car, they get very glowy into the moment they come towards you. And also it's not glaring or jarring. So when the cars are coming towards you, you don't feel like they're blinding your vision compared to real cars, which and have very, very strong lights these days. And also I like all the signs that are all over, all around, you know, you have to respect all these signs. We can also see some avatars inside of the uh, buses, the mini buses there. And, you know, you can really read almost the text on the actual posters as well. I mean, the G2 is very clear in terms of the graphics. And, you know, you can really read stuff. So that really provides that much more towards the immersion of the actual game. So that's pretty cool. And also when you're driving and you're trying to turn, you definitely feel that the ground is more slippery compared to driving when it's not wet, when it's dry ground. So I think the developers have done a great job in that respect too, because it amplifies the level of difficulty for those who are looking to learn how to, you know, use virtual reality in order to drive a real car. So again, if you have a wheel, a steering wheel with the pedals, this game would be really, really awesome for you. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. Authorizing. So for the career mode, there's, you know, a whole bunch of different exercises which will give you, and then you get various different stars, you know, to complete these various different stages. So you have also so training style, U-turn, crossroads in the garage, and then also you have exercise. So it says exercise one to five here. 
And then you can go, you know, and exercise six to 10, all the way, well, six to 10 is basically the maximum. So in the next page, you have parking, turns, hill, track test, city test as well. And then you can also change the mode from basic and also advanced. And you can change the category of the type of car you want to learn, whether you want to learn with just a car or also, you know, with a trailer attached to it. And do look at the top as well. There are other things you can do here. So novice, uh, you know, there are other exercises uh, road signs and traffic monitoring, you know, all these kind of things too. So, you know, experienced other things that you can do here. It gives you some explanation, professional, all the way to special training. And then of course you can also, you know, do advanced or basic mode too. So there's a lot of flexibility. This game really provides hours of different training. You know, this is really good, especially during, you know, potentially, you know, the times that we're in at the moment. Uh, if you're really serious about learning how to drive uh, before you actually go in a full-fledged vehicle for the very first time, this is actually pretty useful. 50%. So if we go into the settings very quickly before we start, so start at the window, no need for that. Fuel consumption in free driving, yes, I definitely uh, recommend having that on. It's quite helpful. Control indication also, because of course, you know, it gives more immersion as the fact that you're in a car. Show violation messages, definitely, why not? That's how you learn. Show the steering wheel, yes, of course, for more immersion. And show braking path, yes, although you can take this off, it's okay also. Then you have the graphics uh, panel. So for screen resolution, of course, if you're gonna use the VR, then, you know, the higher the better. If you're not gonna use, uh, you know, if you're just gonna use VR goggles, you may want to experiment a little bit with this. Output device, so we're gonna leave to monitor and goggles because sometimes I do need to go back inside of the monitor to change a few things, but it's great that they give you the option to do, you know, monitor or VR goggles only as well. For overall quality graphics, I definitely recommend putting it on high if you can. We are running reprojection, so do go and check out the previous video, as I mentioned before, um, you know, to learn how to, to turn on reprojection and what it's for for Windows Mixed Reality. Uh, also, anti-aliasing, I definitely recommend in this game you put as high as possible because you will definitely see the effects of it. So again, if you're running reprojection, no issues there. Uh, texture quality, I also recommend you put on high if you can because it will really help during the gameplay of this specific app anyway. Uh, for quality of shadows, you can put on medium or low. That's absolutely fine because it does eat some FPS. And for mirror quality, I definitely put, you know, I will put on low because don't really need this to be so high. You can put it medium if you want, but low is absolutely fine. Quality of reflection on the road. So this normally I would leave it on medium or low, but for the purpose of today, uh, you know, I'll leave it on medium. And then for quality of reflection on the car, I'm definitely gonna put this on low because the reflections don't really give that much of immersion anyway in the gameplay. And then for multi-threaded rendering, I definitely recommend you leave it on. Vertical synchronization, I definitely recommend you leave it off uh, because this is definitely going to create some jagged, uh, you know, uh, stutter during the gameplay for sure. Raindrops on the windshield, you can put it, oh, we're going to put it off for now, no issue. Dust under the steering wheel, we don't need this. Splashes from under the wheel, yeah, it's good to have, but we're going to leave it off, you know, just for today. And then visual range, I definitely, you know, try to play at the maximum, but putting it here is absolutely fine, okay. And then for the quality of the actual grass, now this makes quite a difference also in the FPS, just so you know, but for today's purpose, we're gonna leave it on medium. And for the range itself, uh, you know, of the grass, and of course you can put it to maximum, but we're gonna put it on here. And then after you're done with your graphics, all you have to do is just click on apply. And then yes, may require a long time to be applied. Do you want to continue? Yes. And there we go, all done for this. And you can also change the sound here, the vehicle sound and all that kind of stuff. Traffic traffic, traffic signals on, sorry. You can turn it off as well, but we'll leave it on. And then for controls, uh, you can choose various different things. So gamepad or your keyboard, your mouse, or steering wheel, if you have one, or joystick. So we're gonna leave it on gamepad for today because I'll be using an Xbox S controller. All right, all good. And then of course you have advanced settings here which will enable you to change all the various different buttons if you want them, uh, you know, on your gamepad and all these kind of things. So really a lot of flexibility. Accessing archives. So all in all, really not a bad experience. You know, if you have a wheel and the pedals, this would 
definitely be a great application to learn how to drive in a virtual reality because the level of graphics aren't that bad. To be honest, of course, it's not hyper realistic, so it's not going to give you the real world environment, but it's good enough already to make you feel like you're, you know, immersed inside of that world. So also all the signages and everything are pretty realistic. And it's really cool that, as I mentioned in the video, you can read all the various different posters and, you know, the signages and the, 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 the graphics of the HP Reverb G2 are so clear that it really provides you that level of immersion. And then when you're changing weather from snow to rain to summertime with, you know, uh, blue skies and a lot of sun, you definitely feel that the level of immersion is very different according to that specific temperature and also season that you choose in the gameplay. And let's not forget that the level of flexibility um, between the various different options that you have are tremendous. There are so many of them. It's crazy. So definitely have really long legs to run very far this kind of game as we progress in time. Really excited to see where it's going to go, you know, in the future for sure. Guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and all your comments that you've left in all the various different other videos. You know, you guys are super awesome. Really is the reason why we do all this kind of stuff. So if you want me to do a separate video about this specific app, detailing the kind of different graphics and doing a test, you know, kind of video, then please leave a comment below. And if there's an other app similar to this that you've encountered, please let the community know also through a comment below as well. All right, until next time, I will see you in the next video. Au revoir.